Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that uh, it is okay to like and subscribe. Um, please always remember to like and subscribe once again for more content from Gaming for Reals Nation. Um, we're going to continue on this channel to do some gaming walkthroughs, as well as nostalgia games, and some live gaming streams. Um, just continue to support the channel. Um, and we'll continue to support love back out there to you. Um, right now, I'm just going to show you guys some walkthrough with the Dolphin emulator of Luigi's Mansion. Um, this is not my first playthrough, and uh, I don't think it'll be my last three times soon. Um, so if you enjoy the content, once again, just subscribe, and yeah, I'll let you enjoy the video. <laughs> Now, it's been quite some time since I've played. Um, it's probably been about 10 years since I've picked this game up. So, this brings back some, lots of old memories. <laughs> Grandpa. My first impression of the Dolphin Emulator um, seems that it runs really, really well, especially for a game as complex as Luigi's Mansion for its time. Um, so I was really pleased by that, um, and then obviously I was really extremely happy with the ability to have this quick save feature and all the mechanics still work. Um, how they really felt like on the GameCube controller. I walked into this room, I, I was immediately stumped. Um, I had no clue what to do. I don't know, probably, I don't know. <laughs> A youngin'. But, I completely was stumped. And now, growing up older, it's like, uh, made lots of sense. But obviously, we're gonna go around, we're gonna tap all the rooms, collect all the money, uh, check as much as we can, um, in each room, and then, as you can see, uh, we need to get those candles blown out there.
always was a big concept of this game. This game did really, really well. Um, well it's, it's time when it came out. Um, and obviously, it's a nostalgia game now. People saw it off after it. <coughs> I think that ultimately makes me extremely happy for the uh, future of gaming technology. I know the third one just dropped recently, and I don't understand if it's good or not, but... understanding the concept of why this game was extremely popular for its time, um, especially with the first, so to speak, bigger boss, the green banana thrower. Mario. <laughs> I'm just 
just to give you an access of what the camera feature kind of looks like, this is really what the camera feature is uh, ultimately here for, just to kind of give you an access to a new entrance point and gain some uh, ideas about um, some things if you're unexpected, especially like ghosts and other targets like that. So I'll put it on Toadstool Healer and you'll see the commentary. So we're back in the foyer. Uh, so that's the door that we went through. We're going to take a sharp left. Um, I know I go right, but we're going to take a sharp left here. And I am very confused on this room, so uh, once we step in here, you will see that this will be all from past memory. Huh. That's fun, always. I'm just trying to figure out, uh, for each individual ghost, uh, that remains, uh, I try and figure out what their weakness is, uh, especially since it's been so long since I've played. Uh, and you guys tell me as well, what's your favorite ghost? Um, leave it in the comment below, um, and I would definitely try and make sure I capture them as quickly as I can on this playthrough. Um, this is a live playthrough, by the way, so we're taking each individual step by step. Um, so this is F1, we'll have F2 coming out here shortly, um, and then I'll continue to go 